Hi everybody, this is If Yarn Could Talk with Vicki and Asia. I'm the owner of Island Yarn. This is my daughter, Asia. Hello. She does, she does all of our social media and everything. I immediately got cat hair in my eyes. I can't imagine how no, that happened. No. This is Chloe. Some of you may know Chloe. She really likes to podcast. Yes, she's a she's she's an enjoyer of her job. She's very involved at this point. An entertainer. Yep. A true. She's the entertainer. She's, she's a natural. She's a natural. She she's, has the it factor. She has the it factor. She That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the it factor. Ah, uh, you do. You. She's so sweet. Yeah. Um, do you, look at that. Mooney <laughs> is also here uh, judging us. I think his directing <laughs> job is... Uh, he seems to not like what we're doing. Yeah, you guys can't see it, but he's giving us very interesting looks. Um, he does have, you know, his own role. She has, you know, she's the talent and he's the, you know, the director, the, the cameraman. Right, yep. The guy in the chair, per se. Um, he's, like, giving us such strange looks. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> um, but maybe it's because he knows that he is going to need to help me figure out what I'm making today. So, we were going through some of Asia's old kid stuff, mm -hmm. and we found this little bed. This little bed. This adorable little wooden bed. Yeah, which I I honestly think I originally found it, like, at a yard sale, and then Probably. I made, like, a little mattress and a little, like, blankie and everything for her dolls, back when she didn't think dolls were creepy. But it's just so cute. Yeah, it's really cute. And um, I was like, well, I don't necessarily have a use. Yes, I do. Yes, of course I have a use for it. What else is this shape like? You know, is this not shaped like a cat bed to you? But now that it's here, do you think he'll fit on it? I'm more concerned if it'll hold his weight. Yeah, we might have to reinforce this. I mean, it wouldn't be hard. They're just threaded in. But maybe it might need some... Uh... We might need to redo this. But little. this is, you know, this is how we, we're refurbishing it. Yeah, it's a refurb. It's a refurb. <laughs> and anyway, so I thought that it would be nice for Mooney to be able to choose his bed dressing. Yeah. Or, or, you know, and cushions. So, so, like, your plan is to sort of crochet a cover and then stuff it a little so it's mattressy. Yep. And then make him a blankie, too. Or a pillow, perhaps. Yeah. Or both. Well, he has a couple blankies. Does that ever seem anyway. like enough? No. But he has a <laughs> lot of things. So, um, in his newest spoiled um, bit, um, we're going to let Mooney choose which yarn he wants for his little mattress. I think <laughs> Chloe but, is more into this. Yeah, I know, but I have so much doubt that she is, one, going to be able to not destroy that bed. If she <laughs> There he is. Okay. So, now that we have... Both cats. I guess we can get both the opinions. Uh, maybe perhaps we'll move this for a little more real estate for a second. <laughs> Whoop. The cats are big. They take up a lot of real estate. Yes. So, oh, hi. So, I think we'll go with the first yarn we're going to try. Mooney Nooney um, is going to be Noro Silk Garden. <laughs> Mooney, what do you think about that? Oh, hey, that's a pretty good reaction there. Yeah. That was a pretty solid. I, I would say that that's that's a gonna contender. be a, that's a contender for sure. What do you think about that one, Mooney? Not interested. Yeah, he doesn't seem quite interested in that. Maybe it's too girly for him. Yeah, he's very manly. Yes. What are we thinking about this guy? This is the for real. Um, you know, we've talked about this before. This is usually a. A favorite of his. Usually. Yeah. Usually. He but usually drools all over it. He does, but I do think he likes it knitted up a little bit more than he does in this. Money? What do we... <laughs> Your arms aren't long enough for this. Hi. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. You know, if you had wanted to get Chloe on board, you could have brought some cashmere. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, you're right. At Moon Nino. He's out. I guess it's the Silk Garden. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Thanks for your input, Moony. Yep. 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 He definitely. Uh. I guess he made a decision there. I guess we're working with the Noro Silk Garden, which is you know. I've never worked with it, actually, so it'll be interesting. I also had this uh, Noro Natsumeki from our uh, Netting Fever box, but... Um, That's too skinny, anyway. Yeah, you know, it was going to be difficult. I just figured he might like the texture of it, but clearly, clearly, there's... Can't, you know, can't, yeah. can't argue with the moo. No. Nope. No arguing. All right, well, now that we've got that settled, we'll bring the bed back up here. What are you working on? I'm working on a thing that will be, I think, I think it'll be our next demo video. It's actually a thing I sort of invented. So it's not like the other ones where I was just showing you some like common techniques. Um, so I don't want to show you too much and give it away, but uh, it's really fun. It's very soothing. It's, it's a brioche type of thing. And I love to do brioche. It's very just like rhythmic and soothing, and it's so Looks like pretty. squishy fabric. Yeah, actually, I'm using Silk Garden too. I <laughs> I ripped out one of the disasters. I ripped out the sleeves. Ah. Uh. Um. And uh, so this is Silk Garden and Moonshine. Mm. They don't have their bands because I ripped them out from something that was a disaster. <laughs> But this won't be a disaster, so it's really pretty. Yeah, it does already. It's already very pretty. Yeah. And I've also been working on a couscous scarf. Ooh. And I've been working on a pattern for the advent calendar boxes because I have to start early. Otherwise, um, well, October, November are nightmarish. So, um, yeah, gotta that makes that, sense. Got to get it done early. And may shock you to know this since as we're filming this it's 90 degrees but it's a little slow in the store so i have a little time to do stuff like that oh now. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> yeah is that a little warm to... it, it's i mean it's not people were in but you know not not everybody yeah <laughs> a lot of people were at the beach yep at the beach beach <clears throat> so yeah so yeah, and I've been working on, <laughs> My goodness. I don't know how you guys, well, you know, um, you know, the chickens. So this is, this is your last chance to join our emotional support chicken knit along because we're all going to meet up on knit in public day, which is June 8th. I think mm -hmm. we've determined with our chickens because I just think it'll be fun and freaky. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> A solid reason. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why not? I mean, the main goal of Knit in Public Day, I believe, is to sort of freak out the muggles who don't knit or crochet. And, um, <laughs> you know, if we all have chickens, it'll be that much more effective. Yeah, I definitely think that that'll be effective. So I will inform you that I have now knit four chickens, and every time I knit one, I'm like, this is the last freaking chicken I'm knitting. Yep. I don't know that it's the last <laughs> one. No. Because I still kind of want to make a mad chicken from the mad balls. Yeah. And I kind of want to make a sparkly chicken because everybody in the store is making sparkly <gasps> chickens. Oh now. my gosh, you should make a sparkly uh, the... rainbow chicken for Pride Month. Oh. Uh, I mean, the mad balls would probably be pretty sparkly chicken, so I might be able to sort of kill two chickens with one ball of yarn that way. Ah. <laughs> And I might, I think I do still have some rainbow mad balls. But I don't know if it would get through the whole rainbow. Because, I don't know either. Yeah, I don't think it would. I really think you could make two chickens out of the mad balls. So that's part of the reason I haven't made a mad ball chicken yet is because I know in my head I'm kind of committing to making two more chickens. <laughs> it's fair, but anyway. You know. Anywho, so you've all met Midge. This is Midge. She's, she's the big mama. Yes, mm -hmm. I I would qualify that. Yep, and you all, of course, know Gladys. Gladys is like the star of the show, the yeah. original OG. Yeah, the model. So so these two laid some yarn ball eggs, and um, oh, did they? They did, they did. And out of that yarn, <laughs> baby Dolores. <laughs> oh, oh, Chloe is interested Chloe in Dolores. Chloe was interested in her the other night too. She Maybe she thinks that she's the mama. 
Are you are you Dolores's mama? Dolores is actually named for a cat that I got obsessed with at a cat cafe that like adopts cats out and it was really hard for me to not bring her home from New York. Um, yep. <clears throat> so that's Dolores. Aren't, isn't Good she so cute though? Dolores. I know she's got she's got Gladys's eyes, you see, and kind of Gladys's stripes, but the rest of her coloring is like midge, so she's a perfect little baby of the two of them. Yeah. I have to tell you. She's really funny, actually. Have have you held her? Like, she is so pleasing to hold. Yeah, she looks firm. She's actually not that firm. But here, put her in your paws. Okay. Yeah, this is a satisfying size. Yeah, it's just like, she's just, I don't know. I like her little comb. Yeah, I didn't give her the waddle because I actually don't really like that much. The last two I've done, I haven't given them those because I think it's dumb. (laughs) Yeah, this is good. I know. Isn't she adorable? So this is Queensland, Perth, and the teeny weeny wools. That's what the stripes are with. Um, so it's actually a really cheap chicken, too, if you feel like you want to make a chicken, but you don't want to spend too much. I have probably two-thirds of the ball left, so I could probably make three little chickens out of that ball of Perth and the teeny weeny wool, and that's like three chickens for 22 bucks or something. <laughs> That's that's a bargain. Yeah. That's a bargain. She is actually so cute. She really is. She's really cute. (laughs) She's definitely, I think she, uh, she may be my favorite, honestly. I mean, I still really love Gladys, but she's, she's, she's right up there. Yeah. So all the chickens. There's all the chickens, our chicken little family. So yeah, make sure you... Make a chicken so you can come knit in public with us on June 8th. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, we'll probably still be knitting chickens after the knit along is officially over because clearly there's no stopping it. That's <laughs> The chickens are undeniable, honestly. Yeah. It's, a, it's a chicken apocalypse. It's, it is a chicken apocalypse. <laughs> Which sounds more like chicken pox has been taking oh, us over. Yeah, no, it's not a chicken. No. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been working on. Although there is one other thing I started today, but I'll show you that later. So in the store this week, we had some more of the Jewel Tony Mad Balls. This is five forty-seven. Oh wow, oh, pretty. Yeah. Yep. There's a few more of these. I'm kind of working my way slowly through this batch because um, it's really delightful. I don't want it to be done with it really soon. <laughs> but um. It's so pretty. Wouldn't, yeah. this, wouldn't this make a couple of nice chickens? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my God. All the chickens, guys. Oh. Only think about the chickens. Yep. And I also still revamping all of the kit listings. I'm on D. So this is our double vision scarf. Ooh. This is a brioche cable scarf. So you can see it's reversible completely because it's brioche. Isn't that fun? So this is often what people do in the third of our brioche class. Like in the first one, they do simple round brioche. Second one, they do simple flat brioche. And then the third one, they start to do patterns. So they do this or they choose some other pattern. So this is not like a beginner pattern. But if you're comfortable with brioche, it's not hard at all. Like just sort of get yourself comfortable with brioche first. So I put up some new color sets. We've got some of them here so yeah it's like this and this isn't that pretty asia oh wow that yeah. is really nice i am in love with those color those whoa those, those colors those colors those colors <laughs> there i love those there i think Clo? didn't care I, this is one of my all-time favorite noro colors this is actually oh no it's not the one i'm using right now it's the contrast color <laughs> Um, this is one of my all-time favorite colors, three ninety-five. So I also put it with this one because I thought that green purple thing really can't be denied. Yeah, that's that's so pretty. Yeah. And then this one is like a nighttime rainbowy kind of situation, I think. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I mean you could do something with that uh silk garden with a rainbow. Yeah. Yeah, so people are making a lot of silk garden chickens too. Silk Garden's getting some fun. So yeah, that's there's a bunch more too. This is so this is double vision. I'm sure Asia will link the kit. Mm-hmm. Very, very fun. 
Gonna get more done this week, I swear. Yep. When it comes to doing uh, computer work or knitting, I think you guys all know which I would prefer. So sometimes it's a little tricky to get all these things done, but whatever, we'll do it. So we also, you know, Asia was telling you the other week about the cool jewelry thing she crocheted and mm -hmm. put on a frame. So I had a fun thing too to show you. This is, um, Pretty much inspired by like Arnie and Carlos and their little journals that they make. Although I sort of smush together a lot of ideas into one, but it's like a recycly paper journal and they make those. And I can't actually remember what they use for covers, but then I did this crazy quilt, this crazy quilt sort of woven cover. Isn't that cool? I actually really love it. Yeah, that's really fun. It's it, it kind of almost gives me like Coraline vibes, but in like a good way, not a creepy one. <laughs> it's a creepy one. And it's just it's just essentially like a, a design journal. So there's swatches and there's like yarn colors that I like together and there's empty pages and there's sketches. There's just all sorts of fun stuff. Isn't it, isn't it cute? But the, these weavings, these are all weavings that I made. And since it's summer and it's actually a great time for weaving, is how we talk more about these weavings. Yeah. Yeah. And Asia might have declared the other day that she wasn't that into weaving, but I have brought something home that I think is going to change her mind. Okay. Okay. So first, um, these... I'm not a very good weaver. I'm just going to say that up front. Like, I pretty much like to play with pretty yarn and do basic weave on a rigid heddle loom because it's easy and it's quick to warp. Okay. So I'm just going to say that any of these things I do, if you have a rigid heddle loom, you could do. Like, this is not high level stuff at all. Nice. And what I really like to do, I have a flip, which is a, a shack, like 30 inch loom, I think, 32 maybe. I don't know. But I like to just warp it with all sorts of crazy stuff and then weave it with all sorts of crazy stuff. And that's how I get, like, all of these little swatches all came from the same warp. They were just woven with different things. Ah, I see. And it's possible that I got obsessed with it and I did this batch. <laughs> you want to see, Chloe? That was so very interesting. These are all sort of pinky. Aren't they cute? There's sort of a big, bigger one. Little cat blanket. <gasps> so good for Chloe. So good. This one's sparkly. Sparkly, sparkly. Always love a good sparkle. Yep. The pink one's actually pretty chilled out. I didn't remember that. It's like fairly. But these are all the same warp and then just do like lengths of like leftover yarns. It's a great like stash buster. And then I'm just going to sew them all together and make either more books or maybe a blinky or something else. Mm -hmm. I have another batch. Want to see them? Sure. So this is another batch I did that was all tealy. These ones are bigger, I think. Yeah, these ones are bigger. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, wow. I'm really into this color combo of like sort of teals and rusts. I love it. Yeah, that's kind of, isn't Gladys kind of? Yeah, yeah. Gladys and, um. Oh, Chloe likes this color And Dolores. Too. Chloe, are you going to She thinks it contrasts against her fur <clears throat> very nicely. Chloe, can I show them? <laughs> can I show this one? This one now? No, uh, you cannot. Well, like, uh, okay, so then there's this one. Again, this is all the same warp. So you warp your loom once, you just like do a bunch of rows when you're out of the yarn or you're sick of it. You just do a little hem stitch off, leave a space so that, you know, you have space to make a swatch mm -hmm. and then keep going. And then when you take them all out, you can just sort of cut them apart. And that's still the same warp. See, totally different, right? Totally different. This one's cool. Very, um, very I will, autumn -y. I will, here, Chloe. Chloe really likes these ones. I know, Chloe, here, here, Chloe, here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> That one's very orangey. I'm gonna put them all here so that Chloe can flatten them. Oh yes, this I'll one her I job. like a lot. Oh yeah, this that one is very Gladysy. Yeah, that one's very Gladysy. 
It's one of my favorite color combinations, even though it's... I wonder if you could make a woven chicken. I don't know. It's a lot of shaping and weaving is rectangular. Ah. Uh, this one is probably my favorite of the batch. I feel like the warp shows through really well. Oh, that one's very, like, it gives me, like, vintage picnic. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, vintage gingham kind of yeah. picnic basket type. Um, And then this is the last one, which I think when I was doing this one, I kind of changed my mind midway through because it... it as much as I love blue, I thought this one was too blue, given the palette underneath it. But It is a little blue. It's a little cookie monster. Yeah. Yeah, it's not horrible, and it'll be great sort of contrasted with the browns. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this is just a really fun thing to do, and there is another way you can do it. And I brought home a couple scarves I made. If, perchance, you don't have the insane stash of a yarn store owner that includes, like, virtual decades worth of yarn. Yep. Um, you could make one out of our combo fibers. So these are two scarves I made, and they're with one skein of our combo fibers and then one skein of, like, a mohair, like one of the fine mohairs. Look at this, Asia. Wow, yeah, that's very pretty. It's, it's it's not second clunky. Feel it. That's very soft. That might be changing our mind. I don't know. Or this one. What do you think of this one? Oh, you know I like that one. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. So this is just one of our combo fibers that had like black and purple and some multicolored. And then I wove it with a fine black mohair. And so... The fine black mohair almost makes like a, just like a fuzzy mesh over the combo fiber. Mm -hmm. And so you really like see those more than anything else. And then the mohair like makes it just soft and yummy. Yep. I'll show you this one too. Because I think I was only showing you Asia and not everyone else. Yeah, that one's very nice. They don't like, it. I don't, I don't want them to come off as, Oh, they look vintage, but they look like the style of them to me looks more vintage. Hmm. But it's not a bad thing. But they just look like, they look like that know. kind of era of like colors and stuff like that. Well, this one. Yeah. Not, and this, not, not this one. No, not that one. This is why I'm saying that one's a totally different one. But these guys and this guy, the color scheme is a little like, like I said, it's like a little vintagey kind yeah, of. Yeah, I feel like sort of mauves are always feel a little vintagey because it's not really such a color right now. Mm -hmm. But I still like this one. Oh yeah, I like I it. I don't know if I have any clothes to match it, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> the black one is way easier to sort of put with clothes. Yeah, I, I, that's that's the thing is that I do like that black one because, you know, I like my patterns mm -hmm. in my clothing. Right. And so I'll sometimes weaving, if it's not like very simple, can kind of clash a lot of the times, I think. Mm, yeah, I can see that, I guess. But it is cool. Yeah. In a way, you know, and it's in its <clears throat> own autistic way. <laughs> Wait, that sounded like I said autistic. I meant artistic? Artistic. Artistic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I might have today... I'll just move this a little bit. <laughs> there oh. There we go. <laughs> Gonna scoot her up a little bit more. I might have uh, warped a loom with a combo fiber. <laughs> that looks really pretty on there. Yeah, it, it always does. So, this is one of our combo fibers. You can see there's like many, there's probably 10. Did I leave any out? Sometimes I decide one isn't worthy and I leave it out. Thank you, Chloe, again. You're a much better door than a window. Okay, this is heavier to hold up than most of our stuff. But you can see there's a bunch of different fibers. There's usually 10 fibers in every combo fiber. And weaving with it can be a little tricky just because the yarns have like slightly different elasticities and, mm -hmm. you know, like this fuzzy one right here can be a little troublesome. Like you kind of have to separate it when you pull the heddle up a little, but... It's not a big deal, really, and it comes out so pretty in the end. Like, you can see it. I already wove, like, 10 inches because 
It also takes no time, so great for stash busting if you want to get rid of 400 yards of yarn in a night, weave a scarf. Yeah. I mean, I am, I'm very into that color scheme on there, so I, I do kind of like that, especially because it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but maybe you'll see it at some point, but um, like it's, it is kind of a little more simple, Yeah, I think, than some of these other ones, and I do like that. I do like that, uh, like, gradient-type situation it's kind of got going on. Well, oh, sorry, Chloe. <laughs> well, combo fibers are, like, put together to, to sort of coordinate on their own, so it makes it a little easier, especially, like, I don't know. I mean, you know I like to put together colors, and I do that all day long, but I know some people find that very difficult. Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those people, you should just grab a combo fiber and a skein of hair because I'll do it for you. I love to put together colors. Yeah, she does. Every time <laughs> I go in to like grab a couple colors of things, she's like, here's 30 of them! I like, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but you just love yarn, that's it. I love yarn and I love lots of colors. Mm -hmm. I just have no idea why you would use one yarn when you could use all the yarns. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, it's it's very soothing, and honestly, I probably have to put it down because, like, I wasn't, I, I had other things to do today, but once I warped it, I just kind of sat there waiting <laughs> for, like, a half an hour because it's really soothing, and it's just basic back and forth. So the other thing about this scarf here is that this will be done probably um, tonight or tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> So by the time the podcast comes out, it'll be done. It'll probably even be washed and pressed and all done. Uh, <laughs> so I thought it, we'd do a little giveaway. There we go. So this is so pretty. So what you have to do is, you know, every other week we're doing little tutorial videos. So if you leave a comment saying something you would like to see, that's all you have to do to enter. And we will pick the winner from those comments on... Two weeks from the day, which is what? June 2nd. June 2nd. We'll pick the winner on June 2nd. So make sure you leave a comment with whichever tutorial type thing you would like to see on our uh, every other week when we're not doing the podcast. Yeah. And you could win this pretty scarf. Very pretty. And you know, these colors are a little bit up everybody's alley because who doesn't love sort of gray and blue? But if you win it and you don't want it, I guarantee you somebody, this will make a great gift for the mm -hmm. holidays or for Christmas or birthdays or whatever. Yep. So get on the commenting yeah. and get to entering for that little scarf. Yeah, it's a win-win because you can tell us what you want to see and you might win a scarf. Yeah. So leave a comment. Nice. Cool. And, you know, get weaving. It's a great time to weave because it's not on your lap. Yeah, that you is know? nice. It's just Get some of... arm workout in the meantime. Yeah, yeah. You can get obsessed with it and sort of tweak your shoulders if you weave all day or anything. Not that I've ever done that. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> so I think Asia, all we have left is to figure out what some of these yarns would say. Okay. And uh, I didn't actually bring a ton home, so I have some silk garden, or I have this mad ball. Okay. Well, I would like that silk garden that you pulled out that I was very much into. Okay. There you go. I, I actually do have one other skein in here. You know what my yarn says? Yeah. Oh, that's a similar thing to what they said before they were born. Yeah, well, this this is this the is egg? what Dolores is made out of. Yeah, oh, this that's is, her egg. This is the yarn egg. Well, this is another one that she laid. This was oh. the original because it wouldn't have a tag on it. Yeah, you know, that's ridiculous. Why would eggs come out with tags on them? So, yeah, this one says, what did you say? This one says, like, I mean, like, like, crystally, mm. crystally heaven. It's oh. just, 
They're like meet me at the meet me at the waterfall type deal, uh, you know. It is very. It's like sort almost of mermaidy type sort deal. Of fairy you know? Barbie fairy topia. It is. <laughs> it is. It's saying have a Barbie marathon. It's time. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's what it says. <laughs> so it's time for the cats to say adieu. It's so long. <laughs> meow, meow. <laughs> Does Mooney say adieu? To you. A moo. A moo. And you, and you. Chloe's going to get all the treats. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we oh. Got, oh, right under her. <laughs> so glad. A moo, a moo, a moo. <laughs> a moo. He kill it. <laughs> Should we try once again for yeah. the good try the good it. stuff? Ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> oh, close. Oh. He almost caught it with his paws. Close, but no cigar, and then he knocked it a mile away from the table. <laughs> you know, he either hits or... A Mooney out. That was his He's... grand exit. Yeah. I don't know why you would criticize him for that. No, I, I said no, no criticism <laughs> towards that. I, you know... <laughs> His skills are renowned, 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 and yeah. impressive to a certain degree. <laughs> but well, um, that's yeah. it for us. If you liked the podcast, give us a little thumbs up. Keep knitting, even though it's flaming hot. You know, you need to be in the AC now, so you might as well knit or weave or weave. Yeah. And make sure you leave us a comment below to enter to win that awesome woven scarf. Yeah, you you want the scarf. You want the scarf. You it's really nice. do. You know you want. The last one, you know, sometimes I get obsessed making those combo scarves, and I sold the last one for like 150 bucks. So it's in my head, it's 150 dollar value. So that's there pretty go. good. Yeah, I want to leave a comment. Very nice scarf. So yeah, Hand definitely. Woven. Enter the giveaway. Um, make sure you check out all of our like socials, Instagram, Facebook, all that kind of stuff, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, if you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when we make uh, new when we put out new videos and such, um, including the tutorials that you want to see to mm -hmm. enter the giveaway. So yeah. yeah, you bet. Yeah, have a good week, you guys, yeah. or a couple weeks. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.